<laughs> good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to uh, our bowl show this week. Tonight, I am your host, Sean Baker, and I've got a very special co-host with me tonight, in our Mount Ralph, uh, Lauren Dion from America. We're dojo free, so we're a little bit out of comfort zone, but here we are, and our special guest tonight, the heartbreak kid from uh, from Burley, Dale McWinnie. So we're uh, in for a good for night. Yes, we will. Thank you very much for coming along again, mate. You've had a year before, so it's nice to catch yeah, up again. Yeah, Lots yeah, changed a, for you since then. So. Yeah, a lot has, you're right. Baker's dozen could be interesting tonight. What questions am I going to ask? Yeah, we'll see. Nervous already. Best part of the show by far. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we uh, all, Dojo always starts us off by thanking our show sponsors, uh, Smith & Co Realty, uh, the fantastic crew that come on board last year and support us again this year, so a massive thank you to them. And of course, Paradise Point Bowls Club for hosting us. So, uh, Premier League sponsors. Obviously, you've got uh, LB2U, which is Lawn Bowls to you, Jason Curry, uh, out of Inogra. So, any, any of your bowls needs, be sure to go and see them. And of course, the mighty Club Musgrave, uh, also hosting our finals this year. So, <laughs> there's our sponsors. Thank you very much. I've got my um, mate here on the right smirking at me, so I'm not sure what he's on about. but. Uh, <laughs> uh, obviously, a big thank you to Robbie and the Gold Coast live stream team. Uh, rock up every week, um, come down and do our show for us. So, good day, Robbie. How are you doing tonight, mate? Yeah, pretty good. Thanks, guys. Uh, good to see you all up there, looking nice and healthy this week. Yeah, Lauren's a little bit better than he was the first week, but uh, we've got a dangerous crew up here, so we're in for a bit of fun. Just for the record, Robbie does a fantastic job every week. This setup's pretty, uh, pretty insane it's for a quick isn't setup, it? Yeah. isn't it? I mean, well, it's probably not so. that quick. He's lucky he's got the barriers there to hold that crowd back, otherwise it'd be swarm swarming us at the moment. Absolutely. So oh, it's hard, it was hard to get to the table just yeah. getting through. It There's at rough, least 150 yeah. people here. Yeah, it's rough, and he sets it all up, and he's got it every week. And he does something to drown out the sound from all of them too, which is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, as viewers there tonight, don't be afraid to, uh, to like and share the page. Uh, and, of course, comment on the show. We've got our screens up on here. So we've got, obviously, Josh Beattie. First in the night, hello Bakes and Dale. Don't worry about Ralphie, but hello Bakes and Dale. So no good you, Josh. Yeah. Hope you're doing you're well in, tonight, mate. That's right. I'll acknowledge you. <laughs> Just call me Doge tonight. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we won't muck around. We'll get straight in. We've had a big weekend of uh, a bowls, our first double header weekend for the season. So it was interesting to any clubs out there that might have a bit of feedback and. Um, just to see how the double headers were. You're obviously you're a bowls oh, yeah, coordinator, I've, so I've, yeah. Yeah, been in the league for a little bit now. Yeah. Um, it was unique. I, I did really like it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm yeah. I'm all for it. Um, yeah. I remember the AGM. We uh, we did vote on it, and I'm really glad that it went through. Shortened the season up, and yeah. I really think it went through successful. We were here at Paradise Point. The hospitality was great. A couple of meals were served, and really, I, I can't see why we'd go, go any other way. Yeah, fantastic. It's good to hear. There has been a few mixed comments about it. Most of them have been positive, but um, obviously there's been a clubs get a few less home games uh, to this format of the draw, which yeah. just can't be helped. But you know, if you do it well, I heard there's great atmosphere here at Paradise Point on the weekend. So if you do it well, you hopefully can make enough money. There were some loud voices to, uh, yeah. to go to speak. There were some very, very Especially loud voices. Especially late in the afternoon. Late in the afternoon. Couple of pints the, under the their golfers belt. were uh, <laughs> arriving back here, and they were into us something chronic. All, all in good spirits, of course. All in good spirits, of course. Of course. Name of the game. All righty, so we'll run through our results. Uh, so we have round two. Our first match up was uh, Pine Rivers Pirates taking on Tweed Heads. Glad you can read that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the uh, the Pirates up 58-44 over Tweed. Uh, Robbie, Robbie Wilde's rink, my good mate of mine, back into uh, the action with a... A rough loss, 11 shots to Gary Kelly, 21. Uh, Ryan Burnett's rank 16. Just pipped Corey Wedlock, 15. That would have been a cracker of the game. And uh, Chris Roseanne's 31 with a big win over Peter Taylor, which seemed to be the difference there. Oh, so wow. that's a good win for Pine on their uh, the home deck, of course. So, but if anyone's going to... If gonna... I'm um, not mistaken, Pine Rivers are currently the only undefeated team. Only under, yep. Three yeah, rounds, so and we've got only one team that's unbeaten. So. Uh, yeah, I think they had a good Regardless start of the season. Regardless of that, still yeah. a fantastic effort. I mean, but yeah, yeah. Uh, they always are hard. And they actually, they play both their games at Palabar this weekend. So, so home again. Pretty Well, yeah, yeah it's yeah, a little yeah. bit different carpet. But hard, yeah, hard certainly. Um, as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Another, another carpet there. And 
I think uh, Capello is very nice to play on, so they yeah. should get hold of yeah. it pretty nicely. Oh, so hard. that's um, yeah, it's a good start to their season after winning the state pennant last year. So mm. they're going to be hard to beat this season. Yeah. Our next match up, uh, we had Capello Bar taking on Brawl Beach. Capello Bar 63 with a win over Brawl Beach 55. Uh, Jacob Nelson's ranked 24. Took care of Ryan George, Peter Bester, 17. Uh, Dylan Fisher, 19. Got the, be got the better of uh, Aaron Tees. And Kay Nelson, 20. Had a draw with Aaron Sheriff, 20. So that's a good win for Capella Bar. Um, obviously, Brawl Beach are always one of the competition heavyweights. So they yeah, they, they would have been happy yeah. with that one for sure. Yeah, cause they, had a, they had a rough start. I think they lost their first game, which they would have come into the season with high expectations. Obviously, they got a new to the comp after winning their way through and they got a great side in front of them but um but yeah that's a that's a very anytime anyone beats Broad Beach thinks they're in, yeah, they've had a pretty good day but you go into Broad Beach and you, you are hoping for a win yeah. you're always hoping for a win you're always backing yourself and just, when you have, walk away from a win against Broad Beach yeah. you're cheering I just think um they seem to have a little bit of a an edge on them don't they they over the over the bulls, uh, the old Nelson it's brothers. The Nelson seen, boys, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's always a fiery battle. Does it always seem to happen that Kane always plays on? <laughs> so, yeah, it's rigged. Uh, it's a rigged competition. It, 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 almost, <laughs> it almost has to. It doesn't matter what it is. Kane plays Oma. <laughs> yeah, Jesse Turnbull as well says go the pirates. So good on you, Jesse. Hey, Bedazza's going Good-on-tank well, too. mate. All right, we'll move on to our next one, Robbie. Here we got uh, next Paradise Point had a good win, 61 over Hamilton, 51. Uh, Lauren's looking very upset over here all of a sudden. Uh, Blake Nahn, 21, defeated Shannon Giddo's 19. Uh, Des Can, 15, went down to Dean McWinney, 23. And Kobe Barton, 25, had a good win over me mate over here, Nathan Wise, Lauren Dion, 9. So that's a good win for Paradise Point. It's always a big ass coming here and playing on the carpet, mate. But how'd you find it? Oh, it was great. The carpet's great to <laughs> play on. Great. I, love I mean, it. No, it was good. It was, you know, some things didn't go our way, but uh, the yep. scoreboard was probably not reflective of the game. Yep. Um, YZ was a bit unlucky with a few, and we were, you know, the other two rinks had a win and came close. So we'll, we'll yep. put the put the blame on us. But uh, you know how Bulls is. It's just, oh, you, uh, you win as a team, you, know, you lose as a team. Like, Jacks fly all over the place. We, YZ was unfortunately driving a lot. We put him in yep. that spot, but uh, yeah, and Carver's not the service you want to be trying to hit yourself out of trouble on as well exactly. yeah, bowls yeah. just react a little bit different when you when you do even when you do hit yeah, targets uh, or the skin yeah it slide. so yeah it slides off a lot yeah. more so if you a bowl just short of the jack and you think oh any sort of squareness on that it's straight on the jack but at any angle it just sort of goes sideways so it can be a tough surface to hit yourself out of trouble on yeah no doubt but yeah oh well moving along who we got next robbie uh, we got Drayton, 49, going down to Burley Heads, 56. I should let Dale read this one out, actually. It's pretty big. Screen, can't read. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm impressed. You're doing well. <laughs> uh, so we had Steve Glasson, 14, going down to David Ferguson, 20. Uh, young Jakey Rin, 19, defeated Dale McWinney, 15. Just for the record, Jakey burnt up a storm. But yeah, that was, uh, yeah he's, fire. The last two times I've played him, he's Absolute belted me. Fire. He's burning. Can play. Yeah, he, yeah. he's got, certainly got the games I in him. I missed everything by a millimetre. He hit everything square in the teeth. It was <laughs> They're always impressive. enjoyable days, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I, was, I was really enjoying myself, obviously. And then a, a battle of the Saints in the last one. The nicest bloke in lawn bowls, Kent Tatricha, 16 going down. And it's probably the second nicest bloke in lawn bowls, Benny Twist, 21. So yeah. would have been a, uh, yeah, it would have been a... It was very a, enjoyable little battle that too. They, they yeah, they had a, they had a really it. hard fought game. It, was, they, yeah. um, it sort of crossed over up and down numerous times throughout the game and um, Benny towards the end just played some absolute crackers and got them over the line. Yeah. Really that helped that helped us get over the line as a whole. Yeah. Um, our rink at one point was down by like thirteen or something and we managed to what was it, lose by five, four, yeah. something like that. We made a little team change. Well, I love the Premier League rule. And yeah, it's good. Isn't it? Just mix around. it up a little bit. They helped us heaps. We yeah. just we moved the, the front three around everywhere, and it, you know, not that anyone's any better in any position there, but yeah. it's just changed the dynamic. And it's like the old social bowls where you come in at halftime for a cup of tea and a biscuit. <laughs> yeah. Like it just changes Absolutely. how the game can flow. And I've sure. seen I've seen a lot of people take advantage of it too. Yeah, it's, 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 it's awesome. To be honest, a lot there. of times people forget about it too. Like things aren't going well, and they, you know, the, the old. 
habits kick in and they just try to push and grind. we got Steady, who hasn't played Premier League before. When I said, um, we'll change it around, he goes, what do you mean? We can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, People will be watching. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we'll move on to the next one. Here we go. We've got uh, Al Jester, All Stars 60, going down in a nail biter to Inogra Eagles 61. Cohen Litfin 30 shots, had a massive win over Harley McDonald 9. Uh, Glenn Pitts 17, going down to Ryan Bigney 19. And Mason Lewis 13, going down to uh, Brendan Egan. So it's an interesting little game there. It's up on one rink. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Colin Litfin's rink carrying the big board there. Oh no, so lost not, no, I lost Duna. by one, so sorry. Duna yeah, Duna carrying, carrying the big board. board. So two big scores and a tight one, so. Yeah, that's wow. an interesting game, that one. Is, that was over at Algesta, and the other, they were on the other, we were there on the other green, they were over there. and that was one down for the year too, because Nico was out. Oh, okay, yeah. Gosley we, was out, and they replaced Nico with Mason for the week. I don't know if Mason comes back again or whatnot. I'm, okay, I'm not yep. sure. But yeah, Nico's out this week. They well, had, yeah, I noticed young uh, Tyson there from South Australia, so he was playing three for Coleman, so oh, yeah. he's obviously yeah. played well and come to the side. Good player. Yeah, yeah he's a good player. Good, nice yeah. bloke, too. Yeah, absolutely. Handy little South Australian. Very good. All right, Robbie, our next match up. Who do we have? Here we go, this is the one we're waiting for. <laughs> Musgrave Hill, 55, going down on the Hellensville Hawks, 56. It was a cracking game. Uh, Sean Baker, 23, defeated Brett Wilkie, 17. Lee Schrein, 13, going down what to... What was uh, that about you sacrificing your ring? Well, it's, it just, it, happen, it's called it? a tip, mate. It's yeah, just yeah, a tip. Yeah, yeah. It's what you think's going to happen, so... Hope we'll play good win. Yeah, good expect win, the yeah. worst, hope for the best. Uh, Nathan Rice, 26, defeated Lee, 13. And uh, Stephen Tong, 19, had a good win over Kurt Brown, 13. So uh, the score probably does a little bit of justice for us because we were chasing six. Uh, me and Tongi both had an end left, and we managed to score five of them. But, um, but yeah, they got uh, they got the better of us that day, and they played really well. They got a good side. Uh, Helensvale, very balanced, and uh, we probably could have won our ring by a few more, but Wiz does what Wiz does, and he plays some crackers, and... Yeah, the whole side uh, did their thing when they had to, so it was a good game. You're right, they got a very balanced side throughout, hey. Yeah, there's no, you very, can't very see any solid. holes anywhere. No, no I think they got a couple out this week uh, by memory looking at their teams. I think Andrew Howie's out. Um, and well, Helmsville's one of those teams that all know each other really well, and they've all played together, yeah. and Four they're all good mates. been together and, a long yeah. time, and mm. they, um, obviously they've, they've been a strong contender of bowls in Queensland for as long as I've been here anyway, maybe 14 years ago and they were the benchmark but oh, definitely. slowly dropped off. Seasons of the past it's always been a lot of them, uh, they don't play as much anymore so it's normally the first three or four games of the season until they start hitting their peak again yeah. so it's sort of hard to reach that point just yet but now they've got you know, way more players that are playing yeah. way more consistent so there's not that oh sweet we got them in the first couple of rounds they're, yeah. they're great all year now <laughs> <laughs> just make it harder for the rest of us thanks guys <laughs> all righty and uh, we got one more left for this round round three all righty so we got through round two let's move on to round three so the second game of the double header so we went back to Pine Rivers and uh, they continue their winning streak with a 61-56 win over Capalabar. Ooh, another, uh, another tight one. Another tight one, yeah. This would be another good game, actually. Uh, Robbie Wild, 20, had a uh, small win over Jacob Nelson, 17. Ryan Burnett, 25, defeated Dylan Fisher, 21. And uh, Chris Roseanne, 16, narrowly going down to Kane Nelson, 18. So two rings to one there to Capalabar, uh, to Pine Rivers, sorry. And uh, yeah, a little, little battle of the carpets there. Yeah, good win, yeah. Yeah, I always thought that would be a good game. Can't remember who I tipped exactly, but I'm hoping it was Pine Rivers. But Robbie tells me I've dropped a couple of points off the uh, the old tipping comp, so I don't think I had a great week. So I need to lift my game this week. Just by looking at the scores over the last two games, Pine have been very consistent on all like all six of the games. If there's been no beltings, yeah, like towards them, or very yeah, I mean very consistent across all three rings. Yeah, I think if you look at all the clubs, um, you know everyone's. Starting to get to a point now where you know there's only a 
few clubs who bring in the marquees and the inputs, but now nearly everyone's doing it, everyone's yeah. getting players in, we're getting, you know, New South Welshmen, Victorians, South Australians and Americans. 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 Yeah, we're even going international now. Hey. <laughs> I know, first one ever. Would you believe California, it? California, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it just shows how strong the competition is. As I think the, the shortened season probably helps out a little bit. I want to see a surprise visit from Taddy at some point. Well, I, yeah, yeah, I think Pine Rivers have pursued him in the past, mm. but I'm just not sure. How he uh, how he goes for time coming from where he is, but I, I can't yeah. imagine he's all that far from moving to Australia, really. Like, well, isn't he down in Malama at the moment? I think, yeah, he's, I think he's in Australia. I'm not yeah, totally he's sure, he's but here. Yeah. He's here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, I mean, he spends a lot of time here. Come so. pine a couple hundred dollar flight, getting yeah. in for a game. Well, we just... it might be a little bit more than that first yeah. class, mate. Yeah, well, yeah, all right, twelve grand flight. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> all righty, we want our next one, Robbie. Here we got. Well, we had Tweed Heads 53 going down to Brawl Beach 61. This would have been another cracker. Uh, Gary Kelly 16 going down to Ryan George. Peter Bester 21. Corey Wedlock 13 just going down over his good mate Aaron Tees 14. And Peter Taylor 24 got narrowly going down to Aaron Sheriff 26. So not much in any of those any of those scores there. But um, yeah, Brawl Beach up on three rinks and. That's a big win. Yeah, they would have been fired up after the first round. Yeah. They're the, you know, the first game of the day yeah. losing, and um, I think they did a little bit of changing on at least one of the rinks and seemed to work. Oh, well they mixed things so, up a little yeah. bit. Yep. You know, uh, what yeah. What was changed? You know. Uh, I think uh, I think on Omar's rink, uh, Baz went to lead, and they oh, moved okay. they moved Jared to third. I know he's been. Uh, yeah. And uh, and you know, anytime you got Barry Lester leading for you on a rink, you're I mean, he's been have one a of chance. the best players uh, of all time for so many years now. Yeah. He's been in his position, right? And Jared's and playing well, and so you could probably go either way, which is yeah. why it's a, young player, a simple that change. Yeah. But very calm, too. Very, doesn't seem that much bothers him. He's going yeah. about his business. So, yeah. Probably so, yeah. Yep. Very good. They would have been happy to come back with a win after the loss, and it, it was a close game, so they, they must have been biting the nails at one yeah. point. Getting to, that three rink is always nice, too. Just, yeah. just that extra, extra rink, it always pays dividends at the end of the season because I think it's going to be in for a tight season. I think there's going to be much difference in our wins from uh, first to fifth or even probably first to seventh really. Uh, and then obviously with our scoring system, I know bowls link doesn't reflect at the moment, we're trying to rectify that, but our ladder's coming out too. But our, our scoring system is win points, then we go rink wins and margins. Uh, just doing it every week, just our annual cash draw. But might as well bring the next results up on the screen, Robbie, so people can have a look. Yeah, this was done. So if our any next Paradise game Point up. members watching and your name gets drawn, you'll, you'll, you'll yeah. know. Yeah. Oh, someone's just won the members draw. <laughs> I'm sure she does it on purpose. But uh, Paradise Point 63 had another win over Burley Heads. 54, so it was two wins for Paradise Point. That's a good weekend for them. Uh, good, yeah. Or for anyone, really, but yeah. Blake Narn, 29, had a big win over Dave Ferguson, 17. Desi Can, 13, narrowly going down to Dale McWinnie, 16. And Kobe Barton, 21, had a draw with Benny Twist, so one and a half rinks each, but uh, Blakey Narn's rink is doing the damage there. Well, they played some horns, boy. Did he? He, he really did. That's yeah. a lot of numbers. Fergo was, was saving a fair few. Yeah. Um, sort of couple got away towards the end. Um, Blake got out to a massive lead. Us coming off the grass, yeah. running quite slow with the rain. We moved into the synthetic. Um, I mean, they just played on it. I mean, no excuses. We knew it. We had a chat about it. We're trying our best to be very, very aware of it. They come out and they just burnt straight up. Um, he was under the pump a bit. And really, they did come back, but Blake played some bombs towards the end. Yeah. And, and you, would, um, you would have been happy to, to come back into it and give yourselves a chance. Absolutely. We were three behind with six to go. <laughs> wow. And yeah. it ended up, you know, blowing out to a little bit more. It was a 63-54. Yeah, three behind with six to go. And I dropped a three. And Benny dropped a five. Because they were 16 all. Benny dropped a five. And then the next end, Benny got a five back. So the last two ends were five to Paradise Point, five to Burley to go from a 16 all draw to a 21 all draw. <laughs> wow, yeah. Benny played a horn with his last, sat Kobe's bowl out for five to draw the ring. But we appreciate that extra half point. 
Can you can you hear any of that, Robbie? No. <laughs> we just apologise to our viewers. We are. We might have to have a chat to the club about where they place their microphone. <laughs> it's just bellowed through the whole club, but uh, yeah. Well, we're back now. We're back now. So everything you just said, we we heard you. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate it. That sounds yeah. good. And then hopefully yeah, we have nice. a few lip readers uh, yeah. in the audience well, there. Yeah, yeah. The, the brunt of it was our uh, 16 <laughs> all, and both dropped a five to be 21 yeah, all. Kobe same. made a five, and then Ben made a five. So it went from 16 all to 21 all. So. Great be, shot to Benny, we appreciate that half a point. Wouldn't know how much, uh, how many times that's happened. That wouldn't be overly common. No, like to finish, I know it happens a bit in through the through the ends, but the last two ends, that's yeah. it's pretty incredible, isn't it? Yeah. In, um, and the closest bowl on that fight that he got was probably like four meters away. Ooh. It was a, it was a, the jacket got moved, of course. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, that's cool. Guess. <laughs> I mean, even though we knew we had lost at that point, we were still very up and about. Half, oh, half up point. Yeah, exactly right. All right, our next match up. Should I let Lauren read this one out, mate? Uh, if I could see it, I would. I okay. Think, yeah, we'll but, go uh, with you go ahead and read it, and I'll, I'll react. Yeah. 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 Well, Hamilton, 79, defeated Drayton, 41. So that's on three rinks as well. So Shannon Giddos, 35, a big win over Steve Glasson, 7. Uh, Dean McWinnie, 19, defeated Jakey Rin, 15. And Nathan Wise, 25, Bounce back and beat the nicest Blake and Lawn Bowls. Kent Tretcher, 19. So, yeah, it was, that would have it been a nice a, way to finish your day, mate. Oh, we needed it. Yeah, we all knew we needed a win. Yeah. Uh, to get three rinks was the bonus. But, uh, yeah, coming off the carpet, uh, they had just played on the grass, which, you know, we... we we, we knew that, and everyone said it was running a bit slow, but we, we just stepped point, in. At that point, the rain had picked up that much, yeah, and we were playing in puddles. Yeah, we came off. Uh, at the end of the first end, I think, we all came off. and then, um, But, we, you know, we all settled in. Uh, there was – no, actually, I don't think we made any changes, actually, going into that second one because we knew that we had probably played well enough to be more in the first round. But um, yeah. going into that one, we said, you know, let's just keep it riding and help the results go our way. And, yeah, yeah it was – it was, it was a great win. We needed it, and um, we, were, we were quite happy to get all three rings. Comfortable, too. You've done it, done it quite nicely on the big ball, but obviously... It's one of those nice wins where you're three quarters of the way, and you kind of already know you got it. Yeah. Yeah, well, Ghetto's rink kind of let us... Secured the big ball. It's just yeah. nice, to get, like I said, to push that extra to see, make sure you get those three rings up, because it... Like it's a big, it, co big confidence booster for all of us, because I think we feel like our rinks are set now, and we can yeah. go into next week knowing that... We're all getting along. We, and it's a new side, so a lot yeah. of us are getting comfortable playing with each other. And yeah. can't always just throw a bunch of players together and expect the best. It does take time mm -hmm. to, to build. So I want to go through, get a couple of comments here. Just uh, mention them before we get into the next results. Uh, Braden Lee asks when we get a decent guest on. <laughs> um, Brendan Wilson reckons Jared with the fresh trim, fresh trim up goes better, something in that. And uh, obviously Josh Beatty as well, saying good luck to everyone this weekend. So keep your comments coming through. Make sure you interact. Yeah, and Mike, uh, Michael Smith says get into him, Dale. Um, <laughs> I think he's I think he's doing a great job over here. But <laughs> that Smith is messaging me all week. He's like, when are you going to fly me in? When are you going to fly me in? <laughs> and then Braden rings me every day, complaining about everything and anything. <laughs> <laughs> right, give us a call again tomorrow, boys. You know, yeah. got to keep routine going. <laughs> <laughs> well, and where's Aaron, where's Aaron Zangle this week? He was up yeah, right yeah, early last right. time. I don't, I don't know waiting. if he knows I'm, I'm on this week. Trying to keep an eye out it was, for it. Was sort of an audible that it got was, called. Yeah, so. it was a little bit. And we didn't really advertise it, did we? Uh, no. We normally put out there that we'd our guests. We don't really send any about a special co-host. That's that's different. It is a bit different, and I think you're a bit no, maybe Doge and, it may and be Bakes are a little get, nervous that I might not. Well, uh, we get extra views. Fill the boots. Doge but, might yeah. not come back in. Well, he might be a flick now. Sorry, Doge. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we can break the record again this week. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Robbie. Sorry, mate. Yeah, up there before here we go again. Uh, so we had Al Jester 48 going down to Hell's Isle 62. Uh, Cohen Litfin 16 narrowly losing to Brett Wilkie 18. Glenn Pitts 18 going down to Nathan Rice 23. And Mason Lewis, 14, going down to Kurt Brown, 21. So three rinks to Helensvale there, so that's a good day for them. Mm. Uh, winning five out of their six rinks. No, sorry, four out of their six rinks and uh, two wins. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good day. Yeah. It's a good win there, especially. like so Three rinks is always that nice bonus. That's a good rinks start to the season for Helensvale, too. You know? Yeah. And like I said, they can sometimes be traditionally slow starters, so... Getting just out had, of the blocks like that. I had a comment come through from Stephen Wells saying, fingers crossed, uh, Dale draws Bakes. We'll, we'll see when we, yeah, when we get to no, that. No, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm playing me, me old mate, Matty Peterson. 
Oh, a couple that's of the St. John's that's boys. That's the nicest bloke he, in the world. Well, you're up, he, he's certainly up there. <laughs> How are you guys keep Kenny. saying this and my name isn't coming up? I, no, <laughs> come on. It could be a reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long list, but yeah, and yeah me and Paddy, I mean, me and Manny go back. Me or Dan the Messier, he's one of the, the nicest guys in Boston. I kept on saying, so Pervy come up to play, obviously, in the first, he was in the first week because Benny was at Trans-Tasman. And uh, I, I still reckon he had a better day for his first game of Premier League than he did when his first baby was born. He, he had an absolute ball. He was stoked. <laughs> there wasn't a part that he wasn't smiling. Oh, he's, he's he a really, great, he's really a great guy. Yeah. Well, it's awesome. a great competition to be a part of. I don't blame him. Yeah. No, we, go, we go back a long way, me and Pernia. Yeah, we were looking forward to catching up. So I wrote, I love Burley on the back of his head. And I, you know, I, thought, I thought that might have been Tyler's head. But <laughs> I, I, I saw it, the picture. It, yeah. My handwriting on it looks like a toddler wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Robbie, our next match up. We have the inaugural Eagles, 43, going down to the mighty Musgraveville Pelicans, 71. Uh, Harley McDonald, 11, going down to Sean Baker, 33. Uh, Ryan Digby, 12, going down to Lee Schrader, 21. Good bounce back from them, boys. And uh, Brendan Egan, 20, just pipped his good mate, Stephen Tong, 17. So, cheering's up for us. One, one and one for the day. It's not a, not a terrible day for us, so... Happy all in all, and it was yeah, it was a tricky condition to knock it. I had a, I was just so sorry. It was that other green we were playing was quite sluggish, but once the rain came in, it got even slower. So it was an old up and atom day, and on our rink, everything just seemed to, to work like magic. And poor old Harley went through a few holes and got the wrong side of this and the wrong side of that. So well, you've always been known as, as quite a bit of a mudder. Mud runner from yeah. way back, mate. That's, yeah. that's what we do in Darwin. You just play six feet away through. The, if you're holding shot, it doesn't matter. Just six feet away, just get up there. Up and about. Up yeah. and about, mate. Up up about, and be prepared to give a shot away. away. Just get up there, son. Uh, land the ball. If the jack gets in the road. How exactly up. right. Exactly. Had a good, More good, often than not, lands a little pile of your own, so you're laughing. I had a good comparison to tennis. A good mate from home, Neil Furman, told me that you know, it's like tennis. If you don't get the ball over the net, no, you're never going to score. I, I, gotta, I do <laughs> got to disagree with that because tennis, they're very strict on their foot folding. <laughs> yeah, but but so is the Premier League, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we really need to crack down league. on that rule yeah, here. Yeah, like terrible. This whole Can't couple stand. of inches that yep. you get extra, is, that's, that's full cheating. Yeah, yeah you every, and Sam every, White both. I every man right. wants a couple of It just makes it so much inches. easier. I know, yeah. <laughs> I trust that. Uh, I'd, I'd challenge anyone to take the step I take and no, try and play I'm ball. No, I'm trying to roll up and I'm lucky to get it inbounds. It's a fair step. But anyway, enough about the foot folding. Let's move uh, on, on, Robbie. You brought it up for the record, Bex. You did. I'm just going to bring up the uh, the round two results of the Ridges and then oh, yeah. the round three of the Ridges. Okay. So we're just going to bring up the uh, the Ridges results. So we'll just quickly rattle through them. We had Paradise Point 80 defeated Hamilton 69. Uh, Drayton 57 defeated by Burley Heads 106 raised the bat. Wow. Uh, Pine Rivers 88 defeated South or Tweed Heads. Sorry, uh, South Tweed. I've been in the competition for a while. Uh, Pine Rivers defeated Tweed Heads 65. Palabar 87 had a draw with Brawl Beach. Uh, that would have been a good. That would have been a good game. I did um, hear someone called the draw last week, but it wasn't yeah, the reserve game. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the tips don't go that deep. Uh, Al Jester 71 defeated by Inogra Eagles 90. Uh, Musgrave Hill, 82, defeated Helenvale, 76. A great win for the Pelicans there. That was massive. And they got a great side, the Helenvale Hawks. They've got a lot of depth, so it's anytime you're even reserve grade, and that's always a good win. Mm-hmm. All right, Robbie, round three. Yep. All righty, so we had uh, Paradise Point, 81, defeated Burley Heads, 80. Ooh, tight one. Uh, Hamilton 66. Oh, yeah. we held it too. You held it. You held, we held it. Yeah. Oh. Held it twice. Oh, did you have Keith. everyone on the sideline cheering? And not as much as we would have liked. That's something we will we will chat about. We had a fair few. I was I was definitely up and about. Yeah. And then yeah, so our, I think we held one, and our third and our skip both drew their four bowls combined, right uh, within like a foot. Keith Farrelly like oh, drew. Keith. Hey. Keith Farrelly Keith. drew like. I think it was just behind Jack Kai, and I think Andre might have sat it, if I remember correctly, mm-hmm. for his to count. And then Keith, last bowl, he's picked this gap, and it would hard work yeah. getting through it, the and he sat mate. for third shot. The old mate, Keith. Something Keithy. like that, third or fourth yeah. shot, and made it one in it. Well, it was if, two good shots from Keith. any consolation, he's been a great player for years. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, next up, we had Hamilton, 66, going down to Drayton, 87. 
Uh, the Pine Rivers Pirates, another draw, 77, Drew with Capella Bar, 77. So the draw is coming out of the reserve grade. Uh, Tweed Ed, 79, defeated Broadbeach, 74. Al just a 54, defeated by Hunsdale. Another raise your bat, 100. Is, is the boys coming in from Social Bowls, Wilson and Glenn, good on you boys. Do you have a good yeah, game? Yeah, they get more carpet bowls practice. <laughs> Uh, Inaugural Eagles 95 <laughs> defeated the Pelicans 62. Couldn't quite back up their big morning, but it's uh, not a bad day for the Pelicans. So that's our round two and three results for both grades. Some plenty of good games in there, a few surprises, and uh, yeah, that's a that's a good weekend of bowls. Yeah, first double header of the season. A couple upsets mixed in with that. Yeah, a couple of expected results were actually closer than what you would have thought. Have the beauty of the competition. Yeah, here, absolutely, yeah. I think the competition is that strong this year that we're we're finding what would be considered an upset is not really that much of an upset no. because everyone has a strong side. <laughs> and in previous years, we had a couple of sides that be like, oh well, yeah. questionable, but now everyone's got Every, great yeah, players. Expect it. So there's our ladder for the uh, the Premier Grade. So we've got Pine Rivers, the only unbeaten team on top. Uh, followed by Musgrave Hill, Burley Heads, Broad Beach, and Helen Dart around out of five, and Paradise Point and Hamilton just sitting out in six and seven. Uh, you will notice, again, I touched on it before, but the, the result flutter there, it has points 21, 16, 50, 50. That is not traditionally how we do our ladder. Uh, we're still trying to work out the kinks with, um, with Bowles Link in terms of our scoring system, because apparently we're the only state or the only event in Australia that do the win points and then followed by rink wins and margin everyone else just combines the two so we like to think we're beautifully different and that's how we do it and that's how it's always been done we are we're going to keep it so we're, we'll figure out them bugs but all the uh, ladders we send out uh via social media and whatnot will have the um yeah the, the correct scoring system as your beautiful partner does and she's fantastic at it good uh, so all keep the, uh, the yeah. Queensland Facebook page. Yeah. So get all your all the uh, all the publishing you see coming out of there. That's Emma Boyd, and she's doing a great job. It looks fantastic, and I'm gonna have to get her to show me how to, to use that. What is it, Carver? Canva. Canva. Jesus. So Emma, if you got an <laughs> afternoon to come down, or we'll, we'll buy your lunch, you come and show me how to use it. But it's a fantastic system, and it, she's done some great sheets. It looks oh, it looks brilliant. She's, she's too quick. Every time I finish work, all right, you're going to have to show me how you did that. <laughs> takes me two hours, yeah. takes you five minutes. I hope she charges you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there's our reserve grade ladder. So we've got Inogra Eagles on top unbeaten as well. Only one un, only one unbeaten side in the reserve grade. There's Inogra Eagles, three from three. Uh, behind them, we've got Burley Heads, two, Helensvale, Capalaba, and Tweed Heads rounding out the five. And Pine Rivers and Paradise Point making up six and seven. And not much in it all below, so I think we're in for a couple of tight. I'm a little bit surprised about it. Just was on the bottom in both grades. Yeah, they've they, got some good players mixed in throughout that. They do. It's they, gonna change. Yeah, they, they. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there and all the finer details of it all, but obviously they. Uh, like it does hurt playing barely first round, ruins, ruins a bit of confidence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, it any, is it any better playing in the fourth round? <laughs> But um, no, no look, not. they obviously they had the five players that, but out of those five players, I think only two of them were committed to their season anyway. But they lost a few players, obviously a bit going on there. Um, but yeah, they've got too good a roster not to bounce back at some yeah, stage, absolutely. I'm sure. And they're probably a team you don't want to play if you have to win to make finals. So. Just show their top side that you got, you know, Glenn Pitts, who won almost everything last year. He did, had a great year, yep. come and lit from the emerging side for Australia. Yep. Mason Lewis has filled in. But, you know, yeah, Nick Gosley, Nick Gosley, state yeah. representative. No, that's a, the quality of the competition. The team coming last has all that ability yep. in it. And they, yep. It shows how, it shows how strong the competition is. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, got on you, Robbie. Skip's ladder. Some some mugs on the stage. Hey. Oh no. Pipped uh, pipped me good mate, Lurchy boy. You, uh, we're trying to get on the show at some stage. So if you're listening, Nathan, come on, mate. The people love you. He says it's not really his kind of thing. He's a very quiet, sort of unassuming character, Lurch. Very, very nice bloke, and I don't think he really likes the cameras. But we'll get him on at some stage. I'll persist. We'll get him in here because he's uh, he's been around for such a long time. He's probably one of the best ever to do it. And when he's on fire and playing well, he's geez, he's great to watch. Yeah. And he's up running up and down that green. He's got the finger in the air. You just, yeah. you just know. You just, <laughs> just give up, sit back, clap, appreciate what you're watching. But, Absolutely. Um, Freak of the game. 
is uh, is uh, sitting second. We've got Ryan Burnett in third. Uh, so they're the three unbeaten skips at this stage. Brendan Egan just after that. Chris Rosans, Gary Kelly, Dean McWinnie, Dave Ferguson, Nathan Black, and Ryan George Peter Pesterani out of ten. So long way to go. I'm sure that will change uh, very shortly once I get belted in the morning and in the afternoon this Saturday. I'll probably drop down to about 17th. So I'll enjoy it while it's there, but um, yeah, massive yeah. weekend ad for I'm us. I'm just scraping off the bottom, so I'm really glad they didn't see the... You don't want to peak, peak too early. You don't want to yeah, peak too exactly early. Exactly right. You, you leave it for the, the home stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we might move on to the round four and five teams and tips. So uh, obviously another double header weekend coming up this weekend, uh, round four and five on the Saturday. And I have collected Dojo's tips through the day because I like to keep a close eye on what he does because he is dodgy. For a copper, he's a very dodgy bloke. Uh, oh, he's so not a copper to... yet. Okay. He's not a cop yet. Well, he's in training. It's good enough. He's, he's close. He's almost there. Oh, speaking of big matchups, here it is first this up. Is oh, pretty much. Let's stay out of this time. Which one's on the live stream? Uh, I that'll wish it be was No, that'll be. Uh, well, I'm happy to swap things around. Oh, no, rules are rule. What a shame. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'll get to play my good mates. So we've got uh, Phil Jordan, Sam White, Greg Rolls and Sean Baker playing Scotty Franklin, Michael Steed, Michael Anderson and Matty Peterson. That'll be the live stream rink. Uh, it's 12.30 on Saturday. Uh, the other matchups, we've got Stephen Tong taking on Dale McWinnie and Lee Schrainer taking on Indy Conlon. So it's going to be a big match for both of us, obviously. Yeah, and Indy uh, skipping, that's... Um, yeah, this is yeah so who skipping, are you guys missing? We, Ben and Fergo both can't come this weekend because of pennant commitments. Yeah, okay. Platinum Penthouse have started, but their Division 1 and all the rest of their grades are, are playing. And well, Matty Peterson's part of that, so he should probably stay there and no. be part of their... Yeah, don't he worry, doesn't yeah, work he there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, it's a nice try. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to catching up with him too much. To Should be good. Yeah, yeah should I be good after to it. Yeah, it's going to be a big game. Ideally, we... Um, we lost that one against Paradise Point, so this weekend's massive for us. And, um, yep. Something that we've all spoken about as a group. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's huge. I'm sorry that you have to stand in the way of it, but it's that's big fine. For us. Yeah, it's, well, it's you know, <laughs> it's the way it goes sometimes, buddy. So, it is. but uh, no, we're, we're in for a good day. The green's running pretty good at Muzzy. Had a bit of a roll yesterday. We had some coaching on, um, and yeah, it was running running quite nice. So I think. A couple more days. Hopefully, we don't get too much more rain from now until then. But um, hopefully, we get uh, plenty of sunshine, and the green should be running pretty good. Don't knock the thing. Uh, <laughs> is it any worse than he's always, constantly tapping the table like he's, this? He's always playing with them, it's, ain't yeah. <laughs> So, uh, that was giving me cancer last week. Like I said, I, I did take Dojo's <laughs> tip, so um, Dojo has tipped Muzzy 2 1 on this one, giving us a kiss of death. Uh, but I have to tend to agree with him. I think 2 1, I think Leroy and Tongi are going to come out and burn. Um, I'm going to just go down and be good mate, Matty Peterson, by 1. So we're going to have a good battle, but we'll just get over on the big board. So 2 1, all square on that one, Robbie. Okay. Alright, our next matchup. What? We don't get to tip. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry. Of course. I'm just... <laughs> oh, they didn't let I'm me, they didn't didn't let me tip last years. time, but I'm the co host, <laughs> so, you know. Let's go. Sorry, I'm just happy. Well, let's come, come on, don't put well, me on the camera. Right. I, I, must got, go, must I got go an idea. Two, one. We'll move how about, on. How about uh, we'll, we'll tip on the ones we're involved in? No, no, you guys tip all of them. Okay. I want to know your tips. All right, go That'll ahead. That'll work and bag you out later. Burley heads 2-1. I'm yeah. going to sacrifice my <laughs> own. Again. No, again no, this you week. can't do my thing, mate. You can't. Okay, all right. You can't one, do my thing. 1-2, I'll win my ring. <laughs> wow, that's I'm due. That's completely I'm, different. I'm All right. Due. Oh, is there any tickets in there? <laughs> no, there's no <laughs> tickets. The, there's a little bit of doubt creeping through a couple of the performance that has happened. But. And uh, and Lauren, who are you tipping, mate? Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of hard for me to get involved in this one with you two sitting right here because I got to pick a side. But um, no, no friends in tips, mate. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Burley two two one. Oh, you're off. Go. Well, you got to tell us the ranks now. Uh, I, I think I think Dale and Maddie are going to get up, yeah. and uh, you know Lee is. I mean, it's hard to bet against a, a real a lot of skips in this wow. competition, but I'm going to say two one. Yeah, Maddie and Dale to get up. All right, and that's the last we hear from Lauren tonight. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to the bar. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Oh, Jesse Turnbull's gone burly three nil. You're just saying that to fire me up. Jesse, Thank settle, you, Jesse. Settle down, I always mate. knew you were a good bloke, man. Yeah, I thought so. And uh, while we're on that, Damien McGee says, so much better show without the doge. So, <laughs> love you, Dojo. Oh, now, hello, Nick, Damien. 
Our next matchup, we've got Tweed oh. Heads taking on the Inogra Eagles. Uh, Gary Kelly playing Harley McDonald. Corey Wedlock playing Ryan Digby and Peter Taylor's taking on Brendan Egan. So, yeah, this will be a tough, like most people I think heads would swing towards Tweed, but Inogra, you know, they're in for a big weekend and our second green at Muzzy is probably a little bit slower than the first one, so might be a little bit more like the conditions last week at Algesta, so maybe they'll come out firing, but Where's what's this your, one? This is at Musgrave. Right, so yeah, this is right, the, right. Uh, the other two teams no, no, at course. the hill. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, right, I'll walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind. It's only my job and whatnot. You should know this. Well, let's, let's start with Doja's picks. All right, yeah, so Doja's tips. Tweed 3 0. Um, and I'm going to go Tweed 2 1. I think uh, Duna might just keep his winning ways up. Get him, get his rink up over the line. I mean, like Duna that. has been going really good. He's I don't, a, mean, uh, I don't hate, mean to copy, I hate but him. I hate playing him. I think um, I tend to agree with you, Bakes. Two, two, one, two, one. two one tweed, yeah. So a bit unanimous there. Yeah. So that'll hopefully fire a nogger up to come out and prove us all wrong. Yeah, I hope it does. But yeah, um, but yeah that's uh, Jesse Turnbull. No comment now. You just you don't want to tip about this one, mate. Eh? Be quiet now, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty, next up, Robbie. Who we got? Yep, uh, Capella Bar, Helensvale. So we got uh, Helensvale taking on Capella Bar. So this is at Capella Bar, so the home ground advantage for them. So we've got Jacob Nelson playing Brett Wilkie, Dylan Fisher taking on Nathan Rice, and Kane Nelson taking on Kurt Brown. So this would be a cracker. Mm. Uh, Dojo has tipped Helensvale 2 1. Um, I'm going to go against him here. I think um, Capella Bar are going to be a bit strong at home. Even though Helensvale just had that carpet put in, they're playing and practicing on carpet. I just think it's a little different, and um, I think uh, Dylan Fish is probably the right person to play L Lurchy Boys. So, um, <laughs> a couple of wines over there, <laughs> but um, but yes, yeah, so I think uh, I think Palabar going to get up two one in this one. I'll, I'll go out on a limb and just go um, three rings to Capella. Three rings, ball Ooh. smashing. Ooh. He says. Yeah, just, you know, the, the Nelson boys and Dylan Fisher and coming off a, I'd say, a pretty good week last week. I'm going to go a with a strong that. win and a, and a near another good win. So they, they got a lot of confidence. I reckon Dylan's really enjoying his time here, playing really good bowls. Lurch is always hard to go by. I'm going to say they have a draw. Okay. I'm going to say Kano wins by a lot. I'm going to say Jacob just loses. All right. Let's go. So one and a half rings each. One and each. a half. Oh, okay. One and a half, but the panel bar get up. Comfortably. Quite comfortably. Kano. Kano's, Big win against yeah, Curdy Boy. Yeah. Well, you got Andrew Howie out this week, so Rowan Wilson, which shout out to Rowan, is fantastic seeing him back out there yeah, playing absolutely. after the struggles he's been going through lately. And we saw him last weekend and he looked big smile on his face. He's always a happy was, character. Uh, he yeah. always has been. It just. It's extra, extra special last week. You know, you know, a lot of bowlers know what he's been through and how hard he's fought and fantastic to see uh, him out there playing. So he's up playing three this week, so hopefully he burns and things yeah. go well for his hockey boys. But Alrighty, Robbie, who we got up next? Uh, so we got Paradise Point taking on Pine Rivers. This is the uh, the other game at Capella Bar. So we've got Blake Nam playing Aaron Houston. Des Cairn taking on Ryan Burnett and Kobe Barton, the legend, taking on Chris Rosans. Two two wins last week in Paradise Point, coming off a bit of a high. Obviously, they play on carpet here, and so do Pine. Yeah, playing against Pine Rivers, who hasn't lost uh, unbeaten the game side. Yet. Yeah, I um I probably think Paradise Point's carpet is a lot more similar to Capella Bar than what Pine Rivers is. So whether that pays them advantage, I'm not too sure, but. Uh, Dojo has tipped Pine 2-1, uh, but I'm going Paradise Point. I think they're going to make their way up the M1, uh, they're going to turn up with a bit of intent to play, and I think they're going to win this one 2-1. Go yeah, Pine Rivers 2-1. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with um, with Dale and Doge, 2-1 two, two Pine Rivers. So I'll, uh, I'll finally, I'm going to enjoy that when, uh, when Paradise get up, so fire up boys. Alrighty, our next one up. 
Uh, so this is up going up the hill to Drayton. So we've got Beau Prideau taking on Ryan George, Peter Bester, and she has definitely had a few wines. She is... <laughs> so we've got a lady harassing us here. Jakey Rin taking on Aaron Tees, and Kenta, the nicest Blake and Lawn Bowls treacher, taking on Aaron Sheriff. So, so Bo has come in and, uh, instead Bo. of um, Glass this week. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so they must be alternating. Bo yeah. played the first round, so... Mm. Um, yeah, I'm not sure who's playing how many games, but it's, uh, it's not a bad matchup. Yeah, that's a tough one. Dojo has picked Broadbeach 3 0 up at Drayton. I think Drayton normally have the better greens uh, in the competition this time of year, but. It's cold, colder out there. Yeah, it the might, might be wet. Yeah, I'm going, to go, I'm going to have to agree with Do. I don't think it's 3 0, but I think Broadbridge is going to get up 2 1. Yeah. I think uh, Jakey Rin uh, has been. I was going to say the same. Been chatting in the last couple of days. Yeah. You know, he's got a, got a bit of intent about him, and he's going to fire up against uh, Aaron Tease, and, and he's going to annoy the, annoy the, annoy the poo out of Sean Ingham. So. The rink has changed? Yeah, John Hammond has been replaced at home. Well, so it was. Jake and Hayden Vogler. Uh, and so now okay. Johnny so, Hammond has moved uh, so they moved it, okay. So sw switch the third. Switch the third round. And Johnny Hammond's gone over to Jakey with uh, Mark Crichton and Chip, Steve Lemmy. No, loose. Sometimes that's all it takes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, I think Broadbridge 2 1 are still going to be a bit too strong. So what do you boys think? 2 1, Brody. Uh, I will go with. Um, you're looking at Broadbeach though, straighten on that sheet. Yeah, I know. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm saying uh, pro probably probably three inks to Broadbeach. <laughs> three inks to Broadbeach, yeah. yeah. Well, we might have just fired Drayton up there, but all righty. Let's move on to the next one, Robbie. Who we got? Al Jester versus Hamilton. Uh, so we've got at Drayton Lee. also. At Drayton also, yeah. So this will uh, be on the good green. Well, you're assuming good greens. I still haven't played there yet, but... They usually are good up to at this time of year. So we've got Colin Litfin taking on Shannon Giddos. Glenn Pitts taking on Dean McWinney. And Nicholas Gosler, he returns back with his good mate Timmy Smith, uh, taking on Nicholas w or Nathan Wise. So that'll be a good game there. Yeah, Nick Gosley like versus Nathan Wise. There's two nice blokes playing against each other and both very good players. He'll enjoy that game. Tim yes. Smith's a nice bloke. And I have enjoyed all the games so far, so I don't see why this would be any different. Well, I, I don't think I need to bother reading our Doge's tip. Probably not. Hamilton no. uh, three and zero. Oh. I'm uh, I'm going to have to disagree with him. Up at Drayton, I think Al just uh, going to get open their account and they have a win. Uh, one and a half rings each. There's just not that many Hamilton players in the Hamilton side. So going off saying yeah. slow or quick, like. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, it's, it's culture. None of players, I it's culture. So. Yeah, when we're, when we're playing for <laughs> Hamilton, we're Hamilton players. Right? Yeah, exactly right, yeah. yeah. And if, well, well, where did you play? Oh, you played here last. Oh, well, you won carpet and one slow green. So yeah, oh. Hamilton was relatively sluggish. So Correct. Maybe you go up there and it's running 17 seconds on a windy day. You might be... Oh, I think Giddos but would I'm, like that. I'm, I think Wisey would like that. I'm just that. trying to upset Dojo and you. That's all I'm... Yeah, well, I, th I think we have some players there. If you look through the through the roster, that do enjoy quick greens too. So I think we'll be all right. You think it'll be okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm going Hamilton three now. Oh, I must have really gone out of limb this time, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Could be digging the hole yeah. deeper, mate. Yeah, Hamilton um, three now. Well, going I'll three nil because the rinks play part. You know, I'll say I'll, I'll say three nil to Hamilton. Yeah. Oh. So we got nine rinks to nil versus one and a half rinks to train. <laughs> All right, so I'm, well, I'm that's what I have to one. pick, right? I mean, yeah, like, no, nah, you bet with your head, not with your heart, mate. Well, I'm picking with both. I, high, I think we, we, we're, we're, we're going in confident. We had a good win in our last one last week, and yeah. uh, like I said, our rinks are lined up how they should be, and, and we're fired up. So sweet. Up the power. Up the power. And uh, we're gonna thought of a new one. We're going to show them what the a power hour is all about. Power hour. Yeah. Ah. So is that the first hour of the so, game or yeah. the last hour of we, the game? We're, we're not letting you know until... So it's until not the hour of power. Yeah, it's it's, power all, it's hour. just when we need it. <laughs> just right when we need Try it. Try and say that quickly, too. Yeah, times. we're going <laughs> to ring the bell and the power hour is going to start. She sells, she sells <laughs> bottles. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, so that wraps up our round four. So we'll move on to round five. Uh, we're going back to the mighty Pelican's Nest, Musgrave Hill, uh, where the Pelicans take on the Ospreys' Tweed Heads. 
Sean Baker, Gary Kelly, and the, that'll be the live stream ring. So Phil Jordan, Sam White, Greg Rollins, and Sean Baker will take. Are you honest on the camera all day? I just love it, mate. Yeah, I'm very self-centered. Yeah, Saturday just, Arbor, just you know, Saturday I just nights. I live for it. Really do. I'm, it's how I'm built. You know? Shaving for it. Or uh, makeup. Not not anywhere you can see. <laughs> but, oh Jesus! Hello. <laughs> No, I'll have, I'll have a true moment. that lady with the wines go. You should have <laughs> yeah. said that when she was walking by. Now, Jenna's playing, uh, she's, I think she's playing down the coast for Triple M's that morning, so hopefully she might pop up and swing through and pick me up if I have a couple of beers and see how we go. But no, All right. it's going to be a good game. So at the other rings, we've got Stephen Tong taking on Corey Woodlock and Lee Schrana taking on Peter Taylor. So uh, Dojo has gone tweed 2-1 in this one. And I think we're going to absolutely fire and get up 3-0. Big call against uh, Tweed, At home, yeah. yeah they're going to go from the green. It's a bit slower over to that windier, quicker green. And we're just going to come out of the blocks and they're going to catch us. You want to go, Dale, or you want me to, to step in? thinking. All you right. Go. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna actually agree with Bakes that Muzz, Muzzy's going to get up. Uh, I think uh, two rinks to one. I think um, Corey's going to – Corey and Turles are going to win. On their ring, um, but I think the other two, I think, I think Leroy and Sean, are gonna get up. So. Ah, you stuff me. I think Muzzy are gonna be a little bit gutted after the the major loss in the morning. Oh, so it's gonna be a the bad day. Bakes is sort of gonna get a huddle together. Yep. He's gonna build the spirit up of the yep. team, and it's gonna come out absolutely firing. Yep. I still think Tweed are yet to find their, their connection. Yep. Pretty new side, a couple okay. of new skippers. Okay. I think um, Muzzy. 2-1. Kiss of death, we'll see. They have, I don't think anyone can deny the quality of their side. Oh, I look not at, at all. On, you look at that, paper, that, that, that line-up is, oh my God, Tell's, Tell's done a great job, so, yeah. you know, it's credit to them, And but I think we all know Bowles, it's, it's only a name on a sheet of paper, it doesn't mean squat, really, mm. like, Bowles is a um, funny old game, it's a good old leveller. Uh, we'll just go to a couple of before we go to the next game, a couple of comments here. Jesse Turnbull's finally piped up again. Eagles 3-0. Picking the draw in this one. Pirates 3-0. And old Downey just uh, pipes up and says, plenty of beers between Nick and Wisey. So I think mean, that's a pretty fair comment. Nick Gosling and Nathan Wise, they might enjoy a, a, a sherbet or two. Looks like uh, Lauren's got a couple of comments over oh, there. Oh, someone sending something over to Dale. I'm just not sure. Uh, 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 someone says, ask Dale about uh, black bream bra. I, I, I honestly, I've just read that. I have no idea. <laughs> not a We're talking about the riddles now. Bream bra. We'll move along, uh, Chris, Chris says, uh, Capalva Reggie's technically have not lost a game yet either. Oh, we we're going through the, through the things. And, yeah, that's um, right. That's the beauty of social media. Yeah. Like, yeah. And Jacob, Jacob says, correct you. Uh, Jacob love, says who is that. dying Dale's hair now that he's not here? He's got the singer. So I got him down for Pennant. He's coming into playing every single time we meet someone new. He's just like, yeah, so Dale dyes his hair. And well, that, whole thing it actually looks a, it looks a little green. Though. It's not dyed. It looks <laughs> a little greeny. It like, hey, might have been in the pool earlier. It looks very grey and it looks a little greenish. <laughs> Must be the light. The light's it here. It has to be the light. Well, light's a rough. It, it Emma, is a little green. Emma says it's not that hard, so obviously she's in charge. <laughs> oh, <of hers>, yeah. <laughs> this is a stitch. Don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next round. All righty, Robbie here. Next round, we got got uh, Inogra Eagles taking on the Burley Heads of Water Dragons. Any thought of change? the name from Water Dragons, are you guys sticking with that? Or? We, uh, at this point we've moved to an elemental dragon, elemental. like a water theme, so water dragon, Yeah. it's just the dragons. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to make our <laughs> way around it. I was hell, I've been dying to ask Barry that actually. <laughs> what well, is a funny one, but, uh, so we've got Harley McDonald taking on Matty Peterson, Ryan Digby playing Dale McWinney, and Brendan Egan taking on Indy Collins, so... Uh. Again, you, you look at these games and you think, oh, this should be a, sh a clear-cut winner, but then you think, well, maybe not, because he's dangerous, he's dangerous, she's dangerous. Like, it's it's a tough one. Uh, Dojo has tipped Burley 2-1. Um, Please elaborate, Dojo. Well, you are at Muzzy. You were in the green two, where Inaugural would have played in the morning and you guys are coming over, which mm. you've, you've proved in the past is not a strength of yours. But well, <laughs> moving, from, moving from 10 second grass in the wet to 15 nah, seconds. I think, I think you guys are going to be, yeah, I think it'll be too good here. 
Oh, I think you're actually going to get up 3-0. I think, yeah. it's, I think you're not going for a rough I'm going to go all out and so we're going to get up 7-0. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Res- Resi's included. Unprecedented. Yeah. And never seen haven't before. lost a game. Wow, that's a huge call then. Yeah, so this that's huge a huge call. call. Huge call. What are you putting on that? How much you got? <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> well, I'm open, yeah. <laughs> Seven mil. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a huge call. That's massive. That's a open. Well, okay. We got the first two weeks. We got six one because I was I lost both my ranks. I was just holding everyone else up. Ah, oh, so you're yeah, yeah. Just well, this game on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll win, and the other six will get beat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's usually how I'm it goes. Say yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> and uh, Lauren, what do you reckon, mate? Uh, I hate to jump on the bandwagon, but I'm going to say two one Burley. Two one Burley. Yeah, I think that's a pretty common theme there. Uh, Obviously, you've got a great side. You've done a very good job in recruiting after losing Gary and Corey. That would have been a mm. big shake-up. For, they've been there, what, two or three Gary, years Corey, now. Barry, and Dino. Yeah. That's, yeah, That's a solid a, rink. That's, yeah, there was ended up being three skips and a third. Oh, well, you've done well recruiting, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's worked out well. It's been a really good year at the club. All things going good. All right, our next yeah. match-up. I mean, what, I've been reading all these out. Come on, Dale. You can see that, surely. You can read this. Oh, it's right here in front of us here, too, so we can... Yeah. All right. What is this? Uh, so we have Capalabar versus Paradise Point. We have Jacob Nelson versus Blake Nan. Dylan Fisher versus Des Can. And Kane Nelson versus Kobe Barton. Oh, some good matchups. There's some good games there. Yeah. Uh, Dojo has tipped Capalabar 2-1. Uh, he didn't tip them in the first round, so he's thinking they're going to bounce back. I got a feeling I tipped them in the first round, didn't I? I did, I tipped them to beat someone, yeah. Um, but I also tipped Paradise Point. I put my, I dug myself a hole there, Robbie. You did I think, yeah, you I think did. Palabar are home. They're going to have two wins. They're going to push their way solid into the five. And, uh, yeah, they're in for a good weekend, the, the Comets, so... Over at the Planetarium. I think I'm going to do it again. The way I saw Blake play last week, he played really good. It is on carpet again. Maybe not the same carpet, but still carpet. Yep. I think Blake's going to have a, a, a little win over Jacob. I think Desi and Dylan are going to have a close game, but I reckon Desi's probably due due for a win. He, okay. um, yep. he lost a couple this weekend. And then Kano's going to... Sorry, Kobe, but I think Kano is... Pretty freakish on the carpet, Palabar, and I think Kano is going to have a good win. I think it, uh, probably a great limit. I think a lot of Blakey, like he's obviously a great player, he played lots of bombs, but he's got a great rink there in front of him. Like Ben Freakin has been playing brilliant bowls, what I've seen. Yeah, Wilson Alexander is a great player, and Darren Christie's a great player. That's a, it's a bloody good rink. It is a good rink. Like yeah. if they they could get hold of anyone, really. Like has the draw game. Up yeah, there. yeah, Blake if they. They could just, they could just pepper, you, pepper that jack end after end, and like, if they get going, they could beat any any rink. Yeah. Like, unfortunately, that's the rink I play, so yay for me. But uh, I'll go with Paradise Point two one. Two one. Okay. Yeah, I think I think Desi, like Dale said, I think Desi's uh, been burning. Just maybe hasn't gotten some results, so I think he's yeah. due for a good win. Okay. Get a couple so, of stiff ones against us. We'll so say. which uh, yeah, which I'm, rink's going down? You know. It, I'm gonna say I think Blake's gonna go down. Ooh, yeah, no, no offense, him, Blakey. I love you, brother. Huge but uh, I'll just you know, give him a huge rap, and now you're saying they're gonna get beat. Oh, well, you know, yeah, it's, it's up and about. Just a feeling. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough it's, it's it's almost a coin flip on most of these most of these things in this sure. this high of a level mm-hmm. of a league. But um, you know, the way Kobe played against us this last week, I, I couldn't bet against him. Yeah. Um, but I just have a feeling that it's going to be two one. So I'll just have to say Blakey. But nothing, nothing against Blake. I think he can, he could take down anyone. But um, yeah, that's just a feeling I'm, I'm having. So. And before we get into the next round here, I just got, got a comment, Peter Taylor, saying, can you tame, change team two to team three or one, etc. Each week? No, you can't. It has to be the same each week. So if they feel you have had any discrepancies or a club's changed their ring, please let me know. Uh, we did get the clubs to list their skips from team to team. Uh, you've got to remember, though, you can change players amongst the rinks. So, for example, if we were a rink and Robbie Allen was our skip, um, but we were all struggling and Robbie was playing great, so they moved into another rink and brought another skipper in. Our rink stays the same, the same position. 
just happens that skips change. So is it, is it like a percentage of the rank that can change? Uh, not, like no, it's, 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 I guess it's just the rank in general. So you, I think if you just draw three columns down your thing, and those are your ranks, one, two, three. So if you, if you happen to change players in all four spots, you can to an, ex, to an extent in terms of you're swapping players around. I feel like but if you had a lot of people out, you could get to a point where you're actually. You stuck. can. I like. Yeah. It's 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 obviously just the only reason that was introduced um, was just to make the draw easier. So like yeah. I know now who I'm playing in round eleven or yeah. like just they do it in New South Wales. It seems to work really well and it does rely on the clubs in. I guess uh, an honesty system, if you want to call yeah, it that. Yeah, just as long as it's not blatant and it's you know, yeah. If yeah, you're sort of stick moving with those four done. players and swapping, them, like if you're, yeah, and you, you can tell. Generally, you can tell if anyone's trying to take advantage of the rules. You can normally tell. So, Pete, yeah. I'd love it if you just um, message me what what that comment's about, mate, just so I can double check it all. But um, yeah, the, the, the rules there just to make things easier. It's not there to necessarily punish anyone, but. Um, yeah, again, if, if anyone is taking clear advantage of it all, then we will certainly act on it. But, um, yeah, let me know, Pete, what you're talking about there, mate, and I'll chase it up, buddy. Well, Alrighty, Robbie, sorry, yeah, moving yeah. right along. What yeah, was next your, uh, next round? Yeah. Your, your tips was Capella, though, but what was the rank? Oh, sorry, I didn't want to give a tip. I was trying to get away with one there. Yeah, we did. Uh, so we had Capella Bar and... Paradise Point. Paradise Point, yeah. yeah uh, Paradise Point 2-1. Gonna go Paradise Point one and a half each. Cabello ought to win. Uh, Technically, huh? he only needs Doge's and Bakes, I think, for the. Yeah, 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 but yeah. But, uh, yeah. Ours are for the viewers. It's high stakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High, you yeah. know, nudie run around Suncorp. It's you know high stakes. So. Absolutely. <laughs> Hopefully, you get around for the top yeah. right, Well, I'm it's just on Dojo. Eight, eight, eight a.m. in the morning. <laughs> There's not gonna be anyone there, but still. <laughs> On All right, yeah, next up, no, this yep. is going to be a huge, huge game. Pine oh, versus man. Helensvale. So, firstly, we have Aaron Houston up against Brett Wilkie, Ryan Burnett up against Nathan Russ, and Chris Rosanis up against Kurt Brown. Huge. What are your thoughts, Mr. Sean Baker? Uh, well, my thoughts at this stage are irrelevant because Dojo's tips always go first. Oh, That's the advantage right. of not being here. I get to, get to know what he's doing. I've been thinking about this all afternoon, but... No, Helensvale 2 1 dojo tips. Um, 2 1. And just because I love going against him, I'm going to tip Pine. I think Helensvale, I, I tipped against him in the morning game, so this is definitely going to come back to bite me after I give him such a big rap earlier. Um, but I think Pine are going to be a little bit too good here, and they're going to win on one rink. I think Ryan Burnett, I was chatting him earlier today, he is ready to fire. I think right. he's going to get up by... I just find it very hard to back against, against Lurch. I oh, know. Wow. And okay. I'm going out in the ling. Yeah, and Lurch's got a good oh, no. ring to... I oh, know. And, you know, not everything I do makes sense, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to get a go against Dojo more than anything. Like, Because at the end of the day, it is lawn bowls, and you got no idea what's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to say that... Pine are going to win on one rink and uh, win the overall. Yep. Uh, what's your thoughts, boys? You, you go. You go All right. Uh, you go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also make a very bold call, uh, and I'm going to say that Helensvale is going to get up on three rinks. Three rinks? Yeah. Okay. yeah Who are they out again? Again, it's just a feeling, uh, but, you know, I'd say, you know, Ryan Burnett is an awesome player, but from what I've been hearing, uh, Lurchie's been burning, so... Uh, as he always usually does, but uh, yeah, I'm just kind of back to Helensvale boys to go. It's um, an old ranks. saying though, you, you know, your opposition he plays as well as you let them. Uh, correct. I mean, yeah, he might be pretty... burning, but maybe he's been given the opportunity to burn. Look at Helensvale two one. And right, who's 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 going down? Ooh. I'm picking on Curdy boy again. I love oh, Curdy boy. Oh, mate, I'm, <laughs> I love old boy, Captain I'm... Baggers. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Sorry, sorry, Curdy, but he's I do think you're going to have a rough day out. He's going to fly over your house and hit the, <laughs> you know, drop all the uh, the toilet waste from the, uh, the, the old aircraft yeah, straight on your house. Yeah. You know, you're going to get a big splash <laughs> of human feces on your your joint, mate. So be careful, yeah. Captain Kirk. <laughs> uh, Jesse Turnbull says you're a good man, Sean. Uh, you look after you, mate. Even though you bag me out and. Tip against this, buddy. I'll still look after you, pal. <laughs> Alrighty, our next round up. Here we got Robbie. 
getting close to the end now. So we've got Drayton um, taking on nobody. 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 I'll go three so, out Drayton. Yeah, Drayton have, <laughs> Drayton have claimed the forfeit. Yep. Uh, anyway, we know Brad who's Harris, now, just uh, a paid and, uh, bowls coordinator, hasn't filled in your sheets. Brad, poor form, buddy. But no, or maybe they're expecting some change, possibly. But oh, that's a, who knows this why. Be, it's, it's a double header, though. You'd, you'd imagine yeah. it. Um, yeah, the but same uh, crew. Colin Litfin was their first ring. So bro, 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 bro versus Colin Litfin. Jake Wren, Glenn Pitts was second. Glenn Pitts, was yep. Yep. And Kent Treacher, the nicest bloke in Lawn Bowls, playing Nick Gosley. So. We'll do your job for you, mate. Just uh, when when I did send us half your ways. There was no names on here, so yeah. I had. It could be updated times. by now. Yeah, could be. Yeah. Anyway, what did uh, Doge say? Uh, Dojo said Drayton two one up there at Drayton. Okay, that makes and sense. Yeah, yeah I got. To, I tend to agree with him in this one. I think Drayton are going to um, going to have a good afternoon. Home deck get a bit windier in the afternoon as compared to the morning. Look, yeah, they are. They're playing morning and afternoon. So I think uh, Broad Beach Bus, they're going up there. They leave at 6 o'clock in the morning. So Yeah, we're leaving 6.30 from Hamilton. Yeah, uh, it's from, rough. It's a rough day. From Hamilton. thought they might have had a late, slightly later start. Kiwi, what's going on, mate? We're all going for the players I think they there, pushed buddy. it to 10. It was originally it even was earlier. It was 9.30, yeah. but you did. Well, that's yeah, another that's issue. Yeah, a little bit you, of you, advantage you, tactics. Possibly. Oh, we could were be. potentially talking about you know, drowning one of our greens and leaving <laughs> the other one really quick. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No. no, but it, it, look, every club's entitled to their times, and Drayton would probably be on the other end of it as well. Like, I'm sure they travel down the hill to go to a club for, to, for an early start, so I'm, I'm only joking when I say that. But, um, but yeah, no, that's, a, that's an early start of a big day. But, uh, Dojo, yet yeah, 2-1 to Drayton. I agree with him. 2-1 Drayton. Yep. What do you think, boys? 2-1 Drayton. 2-1 Drayton. Um, well, I'm not going to... I can't agree with everyone. So I will say um, Drayton to get up, but uh, only on one ring. Who's one ring? Who's, yeah. win who's winning? Big, big, big... Uh, oh, shoot. Is it going to be Jakey or Kenta? I'll flip a coin. Well, I, I would... <laughs> Kenta. Kenta. Yeah. Kenta's having a massive win. Yeah, he played really well against us against this last Nick week. Against Nick yeah, yeah, I think... Yeah. He's a good player. He is. All righty, Robbie. Uh, it should be our last match-up. The mighty, apparently mighty, Hamilton Power <laughs> taking on the Brawl Beach Bulls. So Shannon Giddos are taking on Ryan George, Peter Bester. Dean McWinney taking on Aaron Tease. And Nathan Wise taking on Aaron Sheriff. Not a bad draw for you guys, I think. I, yeah. I think why is he playing Sheriff? Why is he playing Sheriff is good. Yeah, he, he's always up for those big challenges. Yeah. Why is he? Dean's, uh, always, Dean, uh, Dean's always hard to beat no matter who he's playing. And yep. Much the same as Shannon Light. So this, this should be a good game here. Dojo has tipped differently here. He didn't go 3-0 to Hamilton. He didn't go 3-0. Okay. He went 1-2. One so two. Thinks, you guys are going to get up on one rink. Oh, and he couldn't put what, which rink it is, huh? Yeah. No. I thought known these oh. things. Oh. It's Leave in. that open for discrepancy. Okay, that's fine. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to graciously disagree with him. That's fine. And I think uh, Brawl Beach are going to get up 3-0. I'm, so, I'm over in, like, uh, agreeing yeah. with you. But, um, yes, I think... Sorry, Hammer boys, but, yeah, Brawly 3-0. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go uh, Hamilton 1.5. 1.5? Yeah. yeah. You're going to get the half just to keep the pace? Oh, I think YZ and I will get up. And um, I think uh, I think Dean Dean will get the draw, and Shannon will just just go down. But all in tight games, I think. I think yeah. We'll keep them keep them honest and okay. give give everyone a bit of a bit of a surprise. But uh, Dean, Dino's got laughing faces going on. He's not saying <laughs> at what, but uh, yeah, he didn't like the O three calls probably, <laughs> especially from his brother. Well, I well, did back you to win three the last one, yeah. So overall, it's fifty percent. Yeah, not bad. It's not, not so bad. bad. And it is. It is. It is a fair side we're playing against. So I, I understand. I understand. I'd say we are a clear underdog, but um, you know, I think we're all up for the challenge. Nice. We're in for, either way, we're in for some great games this weekend. And we've introduced the power hour too, so I think power this is something. Power of power or the power hour. The power hour. Power hour. Yeah, and I'm. I haven't told anyone yet at the powerhouse about this. Yeah. Something I came up with last night as I wasn't sleeping so well as I was yeah. trying to nod off and uh, yeah, like da like Dale said, we got to decide when that power hour is. Yeah. yeah. 
but I just like I the, feel I like like it's the term. Be the, the last, it has to be 14, 14 to twenty one. Yeah, like, that's yeah. That's that's when you win games. Like, yeah, well, against uh, the cream rises, I say. Against Drayton, it was the first out, and that did that did well. So. Yeah, but that you doesn't just always. Know. We can how many how many yeah. times do you see someone jump the blocks and like one rings down by ten, another rings up by fifteen, and by the end of the game they've swapped. Yeah. Like, the team that was down by 10 is one by 15. The team was up by 10. Well, oh, and, you know, Paradise Point, the first hour worked well for them against uh, Burley. So. Yeah. Sure did. Well, that wraps up <laughs> our rounds pass. anyway and all our results. So, uh, we got through that. We're going to move on now to the Baker's Dozen with my uh, little heartbreak kid here. Here he is. There's yeah, an old, an old photo. Yeah, there's an old photo. That one is not been not as many greys in that one. I'm, I'm glad <laughs> you picked. I'm there. glad you picked that picture, Robbie. That really does me justice, mate. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, I'm here with uh, my good mate Dar McWinnie. Thirteen simple questions, mate. Uh, we're going to rattle through them nice and quickly. They they range from bowls Easy. to not bowls. But I think as an Aussie, we need to ask the question. Are you a meat pie man or the Aussie taco? Do you know what an Aussie taco is? Oh yeah, is? what's an Aussie taco? Sausage roll, Piece man. of sausage with a bit of onion on, in between bread, mate. The old Bunnings oh, snag. Nah. The Aussie taco. If, if it's from Bunnings. If, it, if, bun, it's, uh, if it's from uh, Bunnings, oh, okay, one, yep. one, four, one. Yeah, if it's a quickly slapped on the barbie at the bowls club after a quick social. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, boiled. Yeah, I've had yeah, a few boiled sausages in yeah, my day. Yeah, they're a bit rough, but... Consistently Please. more meat. That's a hard, that's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we're starting so hard. See, I know. Well, <laughs> yeah. we start as tough as Baker's Dovin, mate. Well, ultimately, if it's a bunning snag, we're going with that. The the bunning tiger. snag, that's the other one. Okay. Okay. So, if you're on a plane, you crash, you're deserted on an island, what three things would you want to have on you? Ooh. I'm glad you didn't ask that. You're on the island, you're on the island the yeah, it's stranded. Yeah, you get a little bar come up on the side to say you're allowed to pick three things. What right. three things do you pick? Whatever you want. This this is going to be way too correct, but food, water, <laughs> and a fucking radio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a radio, sorry. And a radio. And a radio. Yeah, but a radio signal wouldn't cover the distance. Mate. Okay, so all right. right. Well, wouldn't food, be water. You might want to think about Emma a little bit it's between you and me. You said things, not people. Well, that's, that's okay. Thing, yeah. I don't want to drag food her out water. to a deserted <laughs> yeah. island. Sorry, Emma, you're stuck in it with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so food, water, and uh, a tent. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. Didn't want to think about a flare gun or anything. Well, it would have been a good idea. Because food, you know, you're near the ocean. You've plenty of fish and coconuts. <laughs> you know. Anyway, uh, who wins? Yeah, you know, Obviously, you and Dean practice a lot against each yep. other. Who wins your, your practice games often? Like, Dino always won the practice games. Dino yeah. always gets yeah, it. Never you notice decide. how he said what did win? Like past tense? Past tense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that wasn't present tense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he always he, won the practice games. Got a mental, uh, mental yeah. edge over you, mate. In, in the practice ones. 50-50 uh, exactly in, right. in the actual games. You can roll up as good as you want. Yeah. Go for it. Go though. for it. It's hard to focus in the roll ups. <laughs> And uh, I asked you this before, but I'll ask you now that everyone's watching. How are you enjoying the new role at Burley, mate? Oh, mate, I love it. It's a really, really good gig. Yep. Um, yeah, the staff, management, all really accommodating. Uh, the members of the club have been nothing but amazing towards me and sort of helped me ease into the role. Very yep. good. A um, lot of things that we're sort of building towards. We're looking to do renovations at the club. Okay. Um, nice. So to build over the carpet green, have ourselves a really good function area. And I hope to yep. be, you know, involved with the whole part of it. Yeah, it's a bit of dead space that car. We it like use it for a little bit. Like it'll like be built over the top. We might have a little indoor facility okay. underneath. Oh wow. Um, so yeah. still have like the you know bare footballs have something to play on. We yeah. don't have to you know, smash our grass greens. Um, and then, yeah, we're really focusing on a junior program at the moment. Okay. We're yep. up to, we've had one, and now we're up to five juniors. Okay. So, yeah, Ooh. just pretty pretty happy to be uh, a part of, of all uh, these things happening in the club and look forward to see what the next 12 months and further holds. Bit of competition for Muzzy, mate. Going to be starting a junior program with Muzzy soon. So, any juniors watching, come on down. Musgrave Hill Bowls Club. Big, uh, bit going on there. <laughs> Anyway, we got a uh, comment from Dean coming in about the last question. He says, I can't remember. I practiced last. <laughs> <laughs> Which, oh, taking throwing jabs already. And he, he also says, well, this has been a great six-pack of a show. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Thomas T. Bone Lester, a good friend of ours on the show, says, Ask Dal, how was his run-in with the power fish? 
Oh, no, let's leave that one. That's there. a story that's not yeah, that's told for that one, cameras, man. apparently. But yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was just for anyone who does know that. That was completely incidental and nothing to do with me. I was walking past going to get a sausage roll. <laughs> Next. Uh, anything big coming up for your club, mate? What's uh, well, yeah, well, renovations. The renovations yeah, the yeah. renovations. Um, yeah, renovations. Junior program and uh, winning the twenty twenty four PLQ championship. I like that you have that in. Yeah, that's very that's, good. Um, that's number one on the list at the moment. And what about you personally? Have you got anything big coming up? Obviously, you work. You're busy. Yeah, just. Yeah. I mean, the, a lot of focus this year is predominantly on work, and then just trying to proceed through the Australian pathways. Yep. Um, see if we move into the emerging squad and maybe one day be in the Jackaroo squad and do all the right things. It's, it's, it's very exciting to be there. Some of the programs that, that are available to us are um, fantastic and really it's just exciting. Yep. Well, really yeah, part of. sort of answered my next question there. I see you're in the pathway squad. What uh, what doors do they open for you now? So what's the next stage? Really you know, pushing, pushing for that emerging for? squad. Emerging squad. Yeah, so yeah, we'll we'll pathways emerging open. Is that yeah, how uh, works these days? Pathways yet? emerging Jackaroos. Yeah. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'm 12 months in the pathway squad and straight into the emergency. That's the goal. Yep. Um, I mean, you know, if I'm in the pathways for a little bit longer, so be it. Yeah, I mean, you know, time, just yeah. to, Obviously lots of great players out there. Absolutely. So there's a, through, yeah. You know, some of the members in the squad are fantastic players and um, yeah, as long as everyone puts in the work, does good. We're all improving one step at a time and yeah, it's good to see for not only myself but for everyone. And uh, just in between questions here, I'll tell uh, my co-host every our mate Aaron Zangle has uh, chimed there up. There he is. Hello, there Bowles, he is. Yes, I get on your ass. Good to see you from your mate. Yeah, mate. Uh, next up, uh, do you have a Premier League Queensland rival? Or is there someone you love oh, playing Tweed against? for sure. Tweed now. for sure. <laughs> it's Tweed for sure. Well, now, why now? What's up well, now? Well, Emma Gary and Corey have Gary, gone there. Oh, of course. You know, yeah. uh, I played third for Gary last year, and we got best best rink last oh, year. Oh, and so he's pissed you know, He's just going and packed his bags form, and left. Poor form, guys. And then, um, yeah, on top of that, Emma's the assistant bowls coordinator and marketing director. Yep. So, you know, there's a, a bit of feeling in that one, mate. No, when do you play? We play him at home, not this weekend, coming the one after. Ooh, so I can single, guarantee single it's going to be up and about Ooh. loud. With, um, <laughs> we're aiming to fill the other green and a half with barefoot. And finish yeah. at a time that's about halfway through our game. Ooh, so yeah. then we, we do, do a little bit of promotion to get over. them to stay. Yeah, yeah. A very couple of clever. promo beers or a free very clever. Ah, so we get very up and clever. About. Look out. The only deal is you Look have to cheer tweet. for Burley. <laughs> Look out, Tweed. You're in for a big one, that yeah, one, by the sounds of it. That's going to be worse than the Paradise Point crowd yelling at us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's your favourite Premier League Queensland venue to play at, mate? Outside of Burley, of course. Where do you, where do you enjoy going to to play? To be honest, Powerhouse is always pretty good to play at. Okay. It's always pretty loud. And, uh, I like the area. To be honest, yep. you always stay up there the night, have a good old time. Yep. I mean, um, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of good clubs to play at. They're really nice. Mm-hmm. Pretty much anywhere without carpet. I mean, like, it's not that I hate carpet, that's a preferred place. Ooh, there you go, everyone. You got his Achilles heels. Carpet. I don't like yeah, carpet. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> hate carpet. I just, I just prefer to play on grass. Can't be a good grass green, can you? Now, a good day. Can't the be a good is. grass green. And it's, got, it's kind of part of my job as well, you know, yeah. you promote grass. <laughs> and is it a bit strange being in a different club to Dino Premier League this year? That's good. Good, enjoying it's good. it. It's a bit of rivalry. Yep. We've got a good little fly coming up for our last round of the year. Bit of going on. Wait, when do you play? Last round. Very oh, last round. Oh, wow. At, at home. At we Burley. Might have away. Burley. It's away. Where are you live streaming that round, Robbie? We might have to cancel everything, get them all down there. Yeah, <laughs> Tell me, is... Al Jester, the Tell last me, round. is there a chance that... Say you're live, live streaming the last round, but neither team have a chance to make finals. And you've got a game that you know everyone wants to watch. Will you change that? Really? Yeah. So Bakes can do yeah. it. We could essentially the the goal the, the live stream team are employed by us by since like we yeah we um we, we contract them to do the job. So if we did ask maybe and but that's yeah. a huge question because we don't like to change the program too much because we try to make it as fair as possible in terms of giving everyone games on the stream to start with and then home games after that. Like this year obviously being the first year with a different draw, it's been impossible to give everyone a home game. It's just, it's just not possible with the draw. Um, but I hope clubs remember that 
the following year we'll try to do our best to get them on then but at the end of the day yeah. we're trying to sell a product that's why we get this live stream that's why we pay money just to get this live stream well, we're, Bakes, we're trying I got, to sell I got something to sell product. for that last round it is also the battle of the brothers that and, is true uh, and Dean it's, says it's he's, he's like got he's got a hundred that he wins oh <laughs> well, hell I'm yeah. trying to make it a grand I'm not sure but we call can, me down to a honey I'm not sure we can take legal bets on that, but behind it, once the show finishes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we're all witnesses uh, yeah, here. Yeah, you never know, but uh, no, we, we, like I said, we try to make things as fair as possible. What we are, at the end of the day, we're selling a product, we're trying to promote it, um, and everything we sell, you know, is better for the game in terms of sponsorship, yeah. and the more sponsorship we get, the better uh, the competition is. But Anyway, our next... Uh, Next, oh, well, that actually you, you've answered my next question. You got any bets going on when Burley play Hamilton? Every time I <laughs> one of those, you, you just, yeah. you're on the ball, mate. It's like I'm Bowls coordinator, yeah? Yeah. Well, well, actually, I don't have any bets. We're yeah, we'll, um, Dino, we'll, $200, mate. Yeah, that would create Bets one. on you, buddy. 200 bucks. Jo- Josh says we'll he has money on Hamilton. Dean. What's that? Josh Lisi says he has money on Dean. <laughs> That's all right. All right, more money in the pool, the better odds I'll get. Keep on going, boys. Oh, Dean just <laughs> says add another zero. Oi, 2K. Here we go. Sold. There we go. <laughs> Brothers are going to be punching on by the end of the night. Oh, All righty, uh, second last. How are we going? If you could change one rule in bowls, what would it be? Outside of the foot fault rule, because obviously that's the most <laughs> ridiculous of the lot. But... I'm actually a little bit on the lines with best. I don't like respot. I wish it was mm-hmm. always dead ends. Yeah, well, that's. Yeah. I guess respot's more of a condition of play than a, a rule per se. Oh, but yeah, yeah that's, that's that. fair enough. That's um. Yeah, that's actually. Uh, I do know. Um, always, no matter what it is, be allowed to change your rig, just like the program. Uh, so yeah. I think is a fantastic rule, yep. and something that the you know PLQ introduced long ago now. Yep. And it, it works out great. Everyone that has used it or been involved with the competition has absolutely loved it and thinks it's a great rule. I think that should be all throughout balls. So if you're playing the B grade pairs at your local club on a Sunday yep. morning and you're getting beat by 20, you should be able to swap around. The only time you shouldn't be able to play it's a game of singles. It'd be hard, Jack. <laughs> it would be hard. Marker, let's swap. <laughs> 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 Alrighty, our final question, which is the same generally for everyone. Who does Burley play in the final of Premier League Queensland? Mate? Because obviously Burley are playing the final, I'm assuming. If so, who are they Salt. playing? Um, <sighs> Tweed. We're gonna play Tweed. In the gonna play Tweed in the final. Yeah. They're, they're, sorry to say, but they're so two you, best, you're bag, two you were bagging them out a minute ago, and now you're backing they're, them they're in. They're still Ooh. gonna. They're still gonna make it. Still gonna make it. They're gonna get beat by us along the way. Okay. The two strongest teams in the comp are gonna play. Okay. So you think the favourites are gonna get up? No. Well, that's you said. It's two no, I think they the I think they're. they're the the, I think they are the favourites. If I'm going to be really honest, I think Tweedheads. Oh, I, I tip. I must admit, I tip yeah. them when they're I saw the their, their sides. I, um, I would consider us second, but potentially it might be considered third. Regardless, I don't know. They are but definitely. I'm going to take that. Second favourites going to win. Very good. Well, that's it. That's all for our Baker's dozen. Thank you very much for that, man. No that was worries. good. Right. Yeah, some good, good questions there. Put you on the spot, you old. Meat pie and Aussie taco <laughs> really threw you in the, the spanner there. But uh, after the Baker's Dozen, we're moving right along to uh, one of our newest segments for the season. We've got Grotest Moments. So Grot uh, sent us through a video each week. And uh, here he goes, Grotest Moments. This is uh, bringing you another edition of Premier League's Grotest Moments. And I'm out at Palabar this week with Cody Garrett. How are you, mate? Good, thanks. How are you? Excellent, buddy. Uh, so, mate, um, you've found yourself a new home here at the uh, Palabar Comets, and uh, yeah. you've had a bit of a journey through uh, now. This is, you know, how many years have you been in Premier League now? Yeah. Um, so I, this is my third year in Premier League. So I started off my first year with the Hamilton Power. There you go. Um, yeah, then I moved on to Belmont, and then uh, here, sort of thing. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's been really good to me. I really enjoy the club, the culture, the people, and obviously it's a top class facility here uh, that we are very fortunate enough to have here at Capalabar. So Excellent, I, yeah. So it's um, like Capalabar, it's not their first uh, not their first rodeo in the Premier League. They were, they were in it some years back and got out, but uh, really come back bigger and better. You know, 
you look around the facilities here, it's just fantastic. And uh, I haven't had an opportunity to play here yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. And it's a real credit to the club that uh, obviously a progressive board and they've thought a lot about bowls because this is a huge investment that they've done here. 110 percent. It's a massive investment that they've held here at the club, but also we gain a lot on that investment um, in numerous ways. We can already see um, sort of towards the start we came here at the Pennants, so we played Premier League for Belmont and moved over in Pennants. Kane, Jacob, myself, my brother and a few other players and you know we've we've sort of helped helped out the club here and sort of tried to work hard with things, develop a good culture here. Not that they already didn't have it, but you know, we're just working hard building building for the future because you can always be better. So Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. And uh, I suppose we should really get on to the real reason I'm here. Uh, last week's tips. I think my words were something like uh, Broad beats are specials, unbackable favourites, they'll win 3 0. Uh, tell the boys and girls out there the message <laughs> I the message I had on my phone yeah. at the end of that game. Well, you know, I happen to send send the great here a pretty nice video, uh, cheering them on for being the ultimate tip stop. But yeah, no, it was it was great, you know. That's that's bowls, things happen, we were pretty few things went our way and we, we uh, sort of, I, w I wish Grope beat his house on it, something, something substantial, you know, <laughs> but yeah. If, if At the end of the day, really, you've got me to thank for yeah. giving you the motivation because I heard that that was the talk, that Grope gives us no chance, let's prove him wrong, is that right? Yeah, 110%, hundred, you know, it was, was, in the, was in the chat a little bit, he did yeah. uh, did uh, call that one a little bit early there. So who knew? Who knew I was such an influential person? Who do you guys play this week? Let's see if we can get this right. Then. We played the Hawks and the Dolphins here. The Hawks and the Dolphins here. Okay. Well, Hawks unbackable favourites, three nil. Dolphins in a tight one, two nil. Let's see how that works for them. <laughs> Thanks, Gro. Thanks for having time with me, mate. No worries. Thank you. Right. Absolutely brilliant, mate. We love that new segment and a uh, great chat there with Cody Garrick, one of the young up-and-comers in Queensland. So, fantastic. Wow. Great to see you. Interested to see who we get next week. It's going to be exciting yes. segment. So, well done to the great. Now, we're going to move on to producer Robbie. Every week he's uh, on the live stream match. He's going to pick himself a shot of the week. So, he's picked his shot of the week this week and i am uh, got a couple of chances this week on the live stream. So, well, Robbie, you maybe picked a I might make, them, week, make, might make so the. Uh, yeah, he picked, he picked, picked a the week last yes. week. Hopefully, you got something clean yeah, this time. This so. Well, this week I've, I've actually got uh, three shots that, that were recorded and replayed. The first one is uh, Huey uh, playing an absolutely perler to take out a, a shot and hold three. Uh, we'll have a look at that one first. Oh, Huey, I love this. I think he's got a more of a direct line on this yeah, one here. See what he's doing already. Here we go. Down he gets. Let him meet. Square. Oh, what a great ball. Oh, what, what a shot, shot Huey. Okay, now. Great uh, right shot. Can about play uh, a bit, the boy. three. Hey, yeah, he's got it in him, doesn't he? Yeah. Got it in him. About three bowls later. Three bowls uh, later. All right. Gary, Gary Kelly had. His last bowl. James Templeton. I think they're holding Stimman, three yeah. shots they there. Could be so three shots. Yeah. May even be four. With his back oh, one, I'm talking oh, about. Wrong yep. one. Oh, oh hey. that's close the there, old yeah, Jacob. Jacob, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, push that one a bit wide. Sorry. Sorry. Less drift. You had no sorry. surprise. You got a good result though. But. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my next game one. Uh, so yeah. This is the one that I'm talking about, Gary. Okay, Gary Kelly. He's going to try and draw around on shot. Huey's bowl. Adam's this looks it. like a tougher shot. That's oh, the ball. Oh, oh, Gary oh. shot. Yeah, that's a bomb, that one. Four. That is a bomb. Fist in the air. Yeah. yeah. And of course you've seen the one of Jacob. And we'll so see it again. We'll see it Show us one more time. We like seeing this sort of stuff. It's, it's a clean out one. Yeah. Uh, he, was, he was down and... He's yeah. down, but he, he's, are they all counting? Are these down like four or five? It was quite a few. Let's have a look. a little pause before it comes down Ooh. so we can assess the situation. All right, let me have a look. Yeah. Yep. Okay. James Templeton, I think they're holding three shots they there. Three shots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Four. Yeah. Four. 
with his back right. one. I'm talking so about. That's, yep. pro- that's why he was aiming. Something's going to happen. Well, well oh, yeah, there's, there's still, still two. two. Yeah, yeah, there's still two. Yeah. Yeah. Robbie, not bad. Not bad. Uh, oh, mate, we'll, we'll see if you got something better for you next week. We'll try and play a couple of <laughs> monsters for you to, to whack on that body. We'll wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you're on it all day, so if you don't get at least one highlight, of them, I'm concerned. That's our Robbie shot of the week on you, Robbie. Uh, we'll just go through a couple of these comments here. So Aaron Zangel, our mate over in America, has got another question for Dal. Are the Water Dragons looking for another player? He's available. Well, I did he's read keen, this one a second ago, and um, I know oh, Ralph over here did ask. So my next question is, Aaron, any better than Ralph? Now you're poking the bear. Come on, Aaron. Who's the better player, mate? Oh, it, I, it's, a, it's a coin toss most days. He's, yeah. He's, yeah. 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 Well, we both, we both him, improved a lot. I've so. seen him play uh, a, a bit in the uh, UBCs, and he seems like he goes very, very yeah. good. And he's, what I'm saying. Uh, I, what I like about him is his upbeat attitude. Like He's very confident, very positive. We all that. Yeah, obviously Love very you, confident. Yeah. And uh, Jesse Turnbull says, you blokes get paid too much as bowls coordinators if you're throwing that side of kind of money at each other. So Man, I, don't, I really don't know what you're that. talking about. They all come for love. <laughs> I'd like to be considered quite a good guy. You know, we get their flights and you know, they're really just happy to be there. <laughs> How are you going for comments over there, mate? We got anyone coming through? No, not not really any, any new ones. Um, no. What's, I think uh, I'm all what's, caught what's up. What's Bruce Kirk saying? Oh, here? he said it would be a PLQ decision to uh, change the live stream. Oh, so yes. we already kind of yeah. discussed that, and yep. um, we're, we'll be we'll be continuing to uh, push to get that Hamilton Burley game in the last last Ooh, live stream. Here we go, mate. Saturday we Burley. We you know, could turn the cameras. We need a couple it, times Robbie. And, we need it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not his decision, right? You we'd have, we'd have to, yeah. We'd have to. Yeah, we'd have to run the books on that one if we did that. But, yeah. Well, uh, that's it from us, guys. We've uh, we've got through it all. Thank you very much for joining me, uh, Ralphie. Thank you very much for coming on my co-host. Very if welcome. you're available next week, I think Dojo's away for another week, so oh, we might really? even get you back again. So yeah, well, and, I'm, uh, I'm around. We'll, so. uh, yeah, well, you've, you've done such a great job tonight, mate. So we'll uh, we need a co-host, obviously, and we'll see if we can get another another uh, guest on next week. All right, but, uh, yeah, thank you very much for coming. It was a pleasure, mate. Good luck at Burley. Everything's going really good for you. It's good to see. Yeah. And uh, hopefully you keep kicking on, but uh, unfortunately I hope you have a terrible morning on Saturday. That's okay. That's okay. Thanks yes. very much for having me. Um, uh, I will see you on Saturday morning. And, uh, Saturday, Saturday. Well, no, Saturday, Saturday morning. We'll, have, we'll have lunch and a beer together, mate. Well, well, we'll, we'll come down lunch. a bit early. <laughs> what does Doge say to close out the show? Something about oh, Doge. That's right. Uh, say hello to your mother. <laughs> <laughs> No one wound me up for that, I swear. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. <laughs>